Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the brand new Technic Violator One Piece Leather Suit for 2010 and beyond. I'd like to kind of start off by talking about the one I have here to my left. This is one of my personal suits, a crash in this. We used the pictures from the crash. I was at Barber Motorsports Park a couple of years ago. We used them in a full page ad for a while. But I want to show you how well this thing held up. We've got some scuffing here in the arms, a little wear here on the Kepper Tech, a little bit back here on the seat and stuff. The point is the suit did a great job. I mean, this is a very price point suit, okay, well under a thousand dollars. It performed well enough that I was comfortable kind of going out there and doing that on purpose for advertising and it's a good suit, good product, great price. Let's talk about the new one. One of the things they've changed on this is the collar is bigger, the opening is bigger, I really like that. It feels better. That one was a little tighter than I would like it for me. So this one being opened up more, I think that's a great change. Okay, I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 200 pounds, and mildly athletic build. Underneath the suit right now, I'm wearing my full coverage Knox Contour Race Back Protector. We have removed the stock one, and I'm wearing a size 56 Euro, 46 US in the Technic Violator suit. Give you a look. Standing up, we're going to kind of get down into an athletic riding position now, show you what it looks like and what it moves like. Okay, really love the knee panels they've changed here. Feels awesome. Let's do the same thing from the side, kind of reaching out for the controls. And the back. Motion panels on this are really effective and there's quite a few in it considering the price point of the suit. Normally you have to spend a lot more to get a suit with this many panels in it, but it really moves well, feels good on the body. Perforation, tons. You want to kind of tighten up there, Jake. The whole torso and upper thigh is fully perfed. It's going to be offer tons of airflow. Remember all this Kevlar based stretch material, it's going to free flow air right there. So on the arm, upper arm, underarm, I did note this is the Kevlar based stuff here in the arms and the shoulders. The stretch material they did use in the crotch area is going to be some of the more affordable style stuff. They've always done that with this platform. You know, it, it helps them bring a good quality suit at an affordable price. It's much more critical here in the upper area, the arm area, than it is down here because the abrasion and impact resistance is needed here. Down here, you just need it to stretch. You're not going to really you know, be grinding these parts on the pavement. That being said, this stuff is still very durable. If it does spend a little bit of time on the pavement, it won't be a problem. Some additional perforation here on the forearm. Some new logos for Technic here. Kind of laser etched. We still use the external armor with the air blade. It does bring a little bit of air in there as well. You can see the full size race hump on the back of the suit. And now we've got one that's completely disassembled. Let's kind of detail what it comes with. Here is the knee protector. This is all new from Knox. This is a flexi form piece. You see the Velcro attachments here. There's a little bit of adjustment in there, so if you need to move the knee up or down, you do have a little bit of room to work with. CE certified, just like everything from Knox is. For the elbow and the forearm, we're going to go ahead and we're using the Knox KPF1. It's a hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside. The suit comes stock with this Knox back protector. It is CE certified. End of the day, I'd really rather see you replace this and add on a full coverage back protector. I just think you're going to get a higher level of protection. If you have to ride in this, you can. It will protect you, just not as well as an add on piece could. Kind of detail on the shell of the suit now. I like the quality of the leather, it feels really nice to the touch. The seam construction looks fantastic. They've done a nice job. Technics always use their, their TAS system, their advanced seam construction system. They've done a nice job. These suits have been really durable. Nice comfort collar here too. Kind of an accordion stretch comfort collar. We have some additional perforation here on the back of the suit here. You can see perfed right there above the waist. Some stretch panels sewn in here in the calf area. All in all, what do we think about this Violator suit for 2010? We think it's a great piece. We think it provides a great value just like its predecessor did. 
I'm Brian Van from SportbikeTrackGear.com.